Hi guys, my name is The Fan and this is Glitch Space. And uh, the thing about this is I I have a bunch of early access games on Steam. Which is weird, because I never buy early access games on Steam. I, I, I kind of agree with Total Biscuit here, there's plenty of... Uh, at least I think he said it, I'm not sure, but I think there's... I think he said that there's actually plenty of games that are finished that you can play. So there's very little need to actually buy early access games. But still, I have them. My my game library has long since spiraled out of my control. <laughs> anyway, this was this was one of them. It's not anymore. I just realized I do sort of sort of uh, occasional checkups to see whether they have finished their games and then I can move them away from the early access category. This one was released uh, at the time of recording, I think it was about 11 days ago, but don't quote me on that either. But anyway, point is very recently this became a full game. I have not played this in the early access version. I have waited because I have more games than I can play already. But let's 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 go take a look. Let's see what's up with Glitch Space. I believe it had some sort of an interesting concept, although I could not actually articulate that concept to you. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and look. WASD, that's uh, we got the mouse here. At least I'm gonna skip ahead with the instructions. Okay, those are interesting things in the windows there. Shit's floating, yo. Okay. Alright, WASD. And we have a lot of glitches here, as was promised. So there is some truth in advertising. Okay. Get on the elevator. Oh, oh fuck. Okay, let's jump. Use space to jump, I think. Oh wow, the soundtrack is already. Oh, okay. That was interesting. Okay, what the fuck is that? That's a. Uh, that's an annoyance. I think, ah, fuck. Oh, okay. I do kind of dig the aesthetic, actually. It's just, uh, it is, uh, it's, uh, it is disconcerting in the way that I think it was meant to be. Okay, there's, as you can see, there's nothing behind there, but, yeah, nice, 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 nice. Actually, really, really like the aesthetic. If I'm being honest, I sort of like glitch art in general, and I've even made some some photo manipulations. You know, you can actually load if you have a JPEG file, you can actually load it into an audio editor as raw data, and then you, if you put on like audio effects on it, it does really weird things to the photo. No? The fuck? Okay. It's just I was about taking a look at this thing here. And Shit started going crazy up in here. Crazy up in here, I think. Okay. Let's not say that again. Okay. I have a feeling I should go up there. Right quick. Okay. This is the null canvas. You can add and connect nodes to the canvas to create programs that affect the red cuboids in the world. Nodes are selected from a pop-out menu. Left click to continue. Uh -huh. Okay. Move object. So if I click here. Select num. Okay. Okay. Can be connected into voice clicking and dragging the output of a node to the input of another or by clicking and dragging the nodes together. If the connection has been made correctly, a line will appear. Ah, okay. Only be connected if their outputs and input match. Different types have different shapes. Numbers, for example, output... Numbers e output a triangle. Well, of course they do. So, I take this and I connect it here and there we go. Click X to quit. What is the... Why, do we, why, are, we, why are we holding a block here? Uh, okay, I don't know. Well... Moving on, moving on, moving on. Just, I, I wanna, I wanna take a... What? I didn't go in the portal yet. God damn it, game. I was trying to take a look behind it. Wait, I wasn't even in... 
This isn't even the place where I was. What the fuck happened? Teleported somewhere else entirely. Okay. Any red object can be manipulated. Okay, so right click here. Move object up. Uh, what? 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 Uh, what? No! 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 Move object up. What object? Do I have it? Okay. Uh, what? Let's take a five. We can move the five here, and that moves that thing up. Okay. Can I? Got that. Okay. So if I if I stand here and then I do this. Okay. Nice. I think. Weird. Okay, can I Okay there's a thingy that moves the object forward so if I step here? Then I create I don't know what the different numbers mean yet, but okay, I'm gonna do that. And then I can just walk away from that screen and I'm here. Nice. I guess. Weird. Okay. These are namespaces. They alter the available functions in your toolbox. Okay. Okay, game, calm the fuck down. Okay, what happened? Cords connecting nodes together can be cut to break the program. However, oh, hover over the, however, hover over the cord until a pair of scissors appears. Yeah, I know. I got that already. Object is solid, so if I got this, yeah, okay, fine. Logic has been added to your toolbox. Okay, so... So now that's not solid, I guess. Where is it? No, nope, it's still pretty solid. What the fuck? No, what the shit? Logic, uh... Okay, so I added false there, and then I put... Haha! Alright! It's false. Object is solid. Now we can just walk through. Nice. Is that a... Object is solid, false. Okay, let's do it. That, I think. Is that... No, I don't think that worked yet. So... Logic true. Make that solid. Alright, then we're gonna stand on it. And then we're gonna add... Okay, so that, does this has a... Has a triangle input so we need a number any number even zero I think to put a triangle output there and then or not the fuck hmm. okay maybe zero doesn't work let's see let's put in fucking 20 oh yeah okay huh. I guess this I guess bigger numbers are Bigger, actually. I think. Beware of data flow. Okay. okay, let's walk into the data flow. Ah, there we go. Can I change this thing? No. Okay, so what we need is a true. Okay. Blocks the data flow. Thank you. Another one of these. I don't really know what that does, but okay, whatever. Some nodes look a little different. They are called abstractions and contain multiple nodes which create all functions. As you progress, they break apart. Okay. Vectors have now been added to your toolbox. Be sure to use the widget in the bottom right to find out which vector to use. Use the widget to determine vectors. Okay, how do I... what? No, 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 okay. I have no idea what that means. Let's see. 
Aha, uh -huh. okay, so if we move it along Y. But uh, how do I. Hmm. Well, that didn't do anything. Wait, hold on. No, I think I should move it up. If I'm gonna move that thing anywhere. So, what the hell? Number doesn't help because there's no input there. Okay. The fuck? Why does this not work? Why are they? Why, why are these zeros? Can I? Oh, do I need to? I think I might. Do I need to input a number in there? Haha! <laughs> Whoa! I'm super smart. So yeah, that went up by twenty, of course. Just needed to uh, chain these things. Uh, move object. Okay, no need more numbers. I need. A, how about a five? Is that a good? Yeah, is that good. Okay. This one. Twenty numbers. Along X vector. I take that out. Hello. <laughs> okay. Took it out, and now uh, I think we need to put that back in actually. Okay. So can we. Wait, where the, uh, where the fuck am I going now? Wait. Object is solid. Fine, we'll cut this one. See what happens. Wait, I think that's the earlier one. Okay. Where am I, am I supposed to write this somewhere? What the fuck? Uh -huh. If I cut that, what happens? We are now. Where am I going? I uh, I really I can't see. I can't really see where I could go with this. There's a no. Okay. Look at me. Ready? Oh fuck! No, we have to over here. Let's see what happens to this. Okay, so that's where we came from. Oh fuck, I need to move it up. Where am actually wait, where the hell is it? You're there oh they're still oh fuck, okay. Let's just get one of them here, thank you. Let's just take that out so we can get that out of the way, thank you. Okay, so adding a 20 here, yes. Then we're gonna along Z, so need to move that about, I don't know, maybe 10. Yes. Jump on this one, then we take that out, okay. And then, okay, so we're going up there, so what we need to do is. The, the, remove that one. We're gonna have a vector along y. Attach that. Then we're gonna need to have a number like, I don't know, 20. And boom! Aha! Alright, I just didn't see this route. Or route, whatever. Correctly, okay, let's go through here. Some cube boards have been have pre programmed functions that cannot be edited. Okay, what do you... Let's see... Should we stand on this before we go? Oh! Hi! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Apply force upwards. Okay. Oops! That's not going to work out. Okay, thanks. Remove that one. Along X... Uh, got that. No. Thank you. Okay, so then we're good. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Gonna put that back in. Okay. Apply that's another jumping pad then. Oh. oh! Hold up. I need to move that. So I need a vector to move along X. So actually, I kind of feel like this uh, whole user interface here might get a little bit old as this game progresses. It's an interesting idea, surely, but... It's an in interesting... The, the, whole, the whole idea of repro reprogramming the world is kind of... I guess. But uh, 100 numbers. Okay, so, oh, wow. so we need to along Y. But it is a little bit. Uh, it's it, it. I have. Let's just. I played a game called Human Resource Machine uh, earlier. Not earlier this week. Uh, last week. And uh, it kind of had a thing where, well, it was basically programming that was simplified a little bit. Like it was, it was programming that was visualized a little bit better than programming usually is. And the thing is, it got just really annoyingly hard. And I was, but I was thinking like it was was that I mean I could play the game or I could just go do real programming if I wanted to do programming. And I got so, so, sort of. Like, I don't... This isn't, this isn't programming, but it's still sort of mathematical, I guess, and I don't know if it's interesting enough, especially since there doesn't appear to be any kind of story or character. Which is, I, I think this is this this another one of those games that uh, didn't get what Portal got, and Portal got that you need, uh, you need the humor aspect, or you need at least something to keep the player interested. Like, in their, in their case, they used humor, they used gladness, and, and uh, really Anyway, the British one and let's shift and left click the placing cuboid. What? Oh wait, what's what what is shift? I held I held right mouse button instead of shift. Okay. But yeah that there doesn't seem to be any any kind of story here, it's just it's just this abstract place. What okay. Great. So okay. So do I need to like let's see. Yeah. Can I put one here. Can I then? No, that doesn't do anything. Wait. That doesn't do anything by itself either, does it? No. Well, can I just like... Can I make stairs with this? What? What? No, not really. Yeah. I can make one, but I can't do anything with it, so... Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Can I go check out the behind of this or will you teleport me already again? Okay. What? Oh, was that a mirror actually that I went to and then it teleported me? Weird. Weird. Is that a mirror as well? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, that's fucked up and weird. Whee! Okay. Oh, yeah. 
counter match. Yay. Yeah, I'm getting bored with this now. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I just, I don't know why. Just, there, there's no character here, there's no... <laughs> why would I go on? <laughs> the puzzles are, like, they're, they're nice, but they're not that great. There's a sandbox mode, but, like, just why bother? Here we go, let's shame the people who made this game that I don't really like all that much. No, that's not why I'm, I just, I just, I'm just curious at this point. I think those are Twitter handles. So guys, I mean, it's not, it's like, it, it would be, it, it wouldn't be right to call it a bad game, once again. It, like the, it's functional. It, uh, no. That sounds bad too. It it works. It's <laughs> it's like it's a good uh, it, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's uh, the execution works. It's just that I don't really I I'm not drawn into it just for the fun of for the fun of doing this sort of almost pseudo programming with these things. If there's no character in this game, so. Uh, Also, these, are, these, are, these things I genuinely dislike in game menus, actually, for some reason. That's probably irrational as well. Anyway, this is a Glitch Space. It's available on Steam. And I hope you all have a fantastic day.